It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. We were in Chicago, and we went to one Popeye's in the black neighborhood, and them Dude, chicken like, sandwiches that. were gone, bro. Done. We went to a Popeye's <laughs> in a mall in a white neighborhood. They were there. They might not be there now. When'd you go? Because they, they completely sold out everywhere now. Oh, wow. Well, when we went there, it was good. It was Friday. We went there Friday. Yeah, they completely sold out. They they, they, Popeye put out a press release. Wild cultural experience. Talk to me. We were we were in Chicago, right? You know, I do all the vlogs and everything. Yeah. So I'm with Alex and Mark. And we pull up to the mall, and there's a SWAT team in front of the mall. They got their guns out and everything. And I roll up on the SWAT team with my camera, and I go, y'all protecting the Popeyes, right? They're like, can we help you? Is there a problem? I'm like, I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, there's a chicken sandwich like sold out everywhere. And that's it. <laughs> like, I got pussy real quick. I was like, no, nah, everything, everything's okay, blah, blah, blah. I started Alex started walking away. I was like, fuck that. He's like, I ain't getting arrested again. Security. Right? <laughs> so we go down. We go to start eating the Popeye sandwiches. We start eating the Popeye Y'all sandwiches. Had it? Yeah, we went down there. We got I the Popeye sandwich. It. It's delicious. We go down. We take two bites out of Popeye sandwich. All of a sudden, one of the SWAT guys walks up. Comes into the mall downstairs, so the Popeyes comes up. He goes, "Hey, man, I'm sorry about that. We just overreacted a little bit, and uh, you know, we, we didn't know that you were just kind of joking around. We found out about the whole Popeyes thing. So uh, enjoy the chicken sandwiches." Alex is looking at me like, "Is this what it's like to be white?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they knew it was you. Fucking SWAT team. They might knew it was you. They might have been like, "Oh, that's Andrew Show." I think I think one yeah. of them might have known something that's like all that. that was. But just looking at Alex's eyes as he's eating this chicken sandwich, like slowly looking up, it's like, like a about Japanese this dude. Sandwich. Is it really this good? Oh. No, it's amazing. no, it's it's really that good, man. Better than Chick Fil A? Yeah, it's better. It's better. Really? Yeah. And you don't like Chick Fil A? No, I'm not anti Chick Fil A. I think Chick Fil A is just a chicken sandwich. You don't like, and you're not a hype beast either. You're no. actually a contrarian. It's, it's, I, I should hate it by, yes. by my nature. <laughs> it was so fucking good. Really? It was. It was so fucking good that I'm positive. I'm positive that it will kill you. Uh, meaning, like, they have put so much unhealthy into that sandwich <laughs> that it will kill you. Yeah. There's no way that they'll sell that regularly because it would cause serious bodily High harm. cholesterol, arteries clogged. Son, you bite... The the pickle is not one of these flimsy, like, McDonald's or Chick-fil-A little, like, tiny potato chip thin pickle. It's a... No, that Chick-fil-A pickle girth. is crispy as fuck, bro. Not in my experience. Not like this. Not like really? Popeyes. Yeah, it did. It didn't have it like Popeyes. I mean, this is, this is, this is like you know what's going on, right? No, what's going on? Like they just need to distract us, right? It's like yeah. distract us from what? The Epstein shit. Like, <laughs> man, shut the fuck up, man. You don't. <laughs> Like we were on their ass, we were on the billionaire's ass about Epstein, like these pedophile rings. What if and they're like, are quick, get them a chicken Epstein's sandwich. Flesh. They are, son. That's what they do. What if they grinded Epstein up? That's the ingredient. <laughs> they grinded Epstein up, and the reason it's so tender, son, is because you are what you eat. Never need to eat young girls. <laughs> you don't realize what they listen. Who runs? Who runs social media? Let's be honest. Black Twitter. Black people run social media. But they didn't give a fuck about Epstein. Nah, but they were starting to give a fuck. And the nah. second they started to give a fuck, these billionaire motherfuckers were like, quick, get a chicken sandwich out there. Nah. Get that chicken sandwich <laughs> out there on that these sh- streets. I, I'm not going to lie. That shit did come out of nowhere because I remember coming in here one day. The Amazon is on fire. They're like, quick, get a chicken sandwich. I'm serious. That's all they do. If there is some natural disaster is get a chicken sandwich. I'm Listen, I came in here one day and all the interns were talking about this chicken sandwich from Popeye. And I'm like... I'm about to do one of these shit. So I text my wife. I said, yo, I actually called her. I said, yo, Popeye's got this chicken sandwich. And she was like, don't even fucking think about it. Charlie you man. on a diet. You mind your fucking business. Black men cheat when it comes to chicken. Nah, I didn't. I really didn't. I was yo, faithful. Black I was faithful men to my diet. chicken. That's, that's a real. Is that's that good a real, for real? Bro, let me tell... Can you trust me about some hype beast shit? If I'm hype beasting, it must be real. There's only one person in here who said it was average, and that's Taylor. And I don't, nobody trusts Taylor opinion. It's so good. It's Thank nice. you. You don't, don't know like nothing. Like that. Like their chicken's too great. It made my stomach hurt last It's okay. It's okay. Yo, it's okay. We don't need none of you right here, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you. This is a delicious chicken sandwich. It's the best fast food chicken sandwich I've ever had. Wow. That's hands down. And I'm not even a fast food guy. 
I don't even eat bread. I'll take your word for it. Un fucking real. Wow. Well, I think it was a cultural phenomenon. You know, we That's were, what it is. People felt like they was missing out. FOMO, dog. That's all it is. Motherfucking FOMO, dude. It's as simple as that. Slide a little bit to your right if you for, can. Paige? Paige, slide a little bit to your right if you can, please. Okay, this is a this is like some some saying that we can look at. We'll look at that in a second. I appreciate a that. A saying? What's the saying? I don't know. It's a, it's a meme or something like that. She, she sent us. A it's a chicken sandwich comparison. We'll get there. We'll get there. We got this. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we do this every week. But uh, <laughs> but no. With, with Janelle Monet, they got mad at Janelle because she told people to register to vote, and it reminds me of what Chappelle was saying. Because I'm like, yo, slide to your right. So you. Stay I'm like, in front, yo, none yeah. of these things have anything to do with it. Number one, if you're mad that if you're talking about voter suppression. Voter registration has nothing to do with voter suppression. Yeah, that's how you stop voter suppression is by registering. By the way, yeah. voter suppression doesn't affect you if you're not registered to vote because you can't vote, you stupid motherfuckers. And if you are registered to vote, but you decide to sit on your motherfucking hands and not go out there and vote, guess mm -hmm. what? Voter suppression doesn't affect you then. So that throws that stupid ass theory out the window. Mm -hmm. Then you have people saying, oh, black people have been involved in all the elections lately and black women uh, specifically voted for Hillary in 2016. Very true. But do you, do, do you also know that uh, in 2016, the black voter turnout was the lowest it's ever been in 20 years. And this is after having a record high in 2012. Do you, Seven, do you want to know why? Because black people didn't go out and vote. Do you want to know why that was? Because they didn't have nobody on the ballot they wanted to vote for. No. It's because a week before the elections, what? they dropped those Hennessy Buffalo wings. <laughs> Shut the they fuck up. <laughs> No. Charlemagne, this is a fact. This no. is no. this is no. fact. No. You didn't notice? No. It, 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 a week before Hennessy Buffalo Wings black, came out, black people rebelled against Hillary Clinton, and they didn't they didn't give a fuck. Yeah. That's they all were, they really was. No, black people were tired. They ate all the Hennessy Buffalo Wings, and they who sells Hennessy, to take Hennessy maps, Buffalo Wings? Bro. Say what? Who sells Hennessy Buffalo Wings? BBQs. Oh, there, say what? BBQs is only in New York, right? There was a lot of traveling. Listen, <laughs> people just traveling for the Madison Buffalo. 2016, <laughs> black voter turnout decreased yeah. significantly. Yeah. White voter turnout increased significantly. Here you go. You want to increase black voter turnout, put the boo the voting booths in Popeyes. I feel like that no. is the best way no. if you want to get almost 100% vote, right? You put the ballots inside Popeyes. I mean, you do got to give people something they want. So it's like chicken sandwich after you vote. No matter who you vote for, you get chicken sandwich. But that's what Trump did in 2016. He what? gave the people racism. He was like, you know what? I know what you white people like. Y'all like racism. Y'all like bigotry. White people came out in record numbers and Dude. voted for them. <laughs> like, You're you not gotta, wrong. You got to give people something they want. That's it. Give Trump, them the Obama people they want. Obama gave people something they want. Hope. Hope. Change you can believe in. Right. That's what it was. That's why you had record turnouts in 08, 2012. Is racism our chicken sandwich? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, if it's that good, I gotta try it out, man. Yes. <laughs> that Popeye's chicken yes. sandwich was fucking delicious. Absolutely. <laughs> Trump, yo, I need to try out some racism, Trump, man. Trump tapped into America's real appetite. Let's be for real. Mm. America's real appetite is racism and bigotry. That's oh. what the country was built on. And you know the great thing about Obama, racism? Obama, Obama tapped into what people might have a taste for, might have a taste for some change. Might have a taste for some real justice. Might have a taste for some real equality. Might yeah. have a taste for some real freedom. That was a taste. But yeah, now, that's just an appetizer. The appetite, that's an appetizer. What the, what the you want to satiate me? Here you Give go. me some racism, bro. There you bro. go. There you go. And, and that's what racism, sexism, that's America's appetite. Bro, that's, even homophobia, even homophobia, that's why I'm so that's not skinny it. to this day, probably, because I haven't been indulging in one of the most delicious things of whiteness is racism. racism. I've yeah. been out here eating black stuff my whole life, including black women. What the hell is you, wrong with me? You wonder why you're not Yo, gaining no what's weight. What's wrong with me? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Do I need to get me a white woman to build? <laughs> is that what I need to do, guys? Is there any white? But is anybody building with white women anymore? Say what? People still building with white women? <laughs> I think. You can't build with a white you don't woman. You feel sorry for politicians? Say what? You don't feel feel sorry for politicians? Why? When you see that women. <laughs> All jokes aside, when you when you see white politicians with their women, you don't ever feel sorry for them. Um, nah, because I feel like this: if you could fuck us over, you could fuck over your wife, and they do. That's why whenever you see them get caught up in a scandal, <laughs> right? And they fuck them like I, it's it, have it's you seen? understandable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, you think that they ever give a speech where they're like, listen, I understand the struggle. Look what I've been with for the last 40 years. And look at the women. <laughs> look, but about, look at the women they do it with, though. They're not even bad. Yeah, I know. They just better than they what they the, got in the White House. <laughs> bro, everything's relative. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is relative. That's all it is. Mm, 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 Guys? No. What? What's wrong with can't that? Can't say what. We can't make these, we can't converse, have these conversations? Can't say what. You're not on the microphone, Taylor. You don't need to. And be. we don't need you to be. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, <laughs> listen, he didn't mean that as like a. Uh, I'm going to invite her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She did move off the wall, right? You saw her move off the wall. It's like someone's like, hey, you want to dance? No, 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 your friend. <laughs> yo, you want a drink? No, 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 not you. Girl standing behind you. Yo, 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 tap your friend. I want to talk to her. <laughs>